Hi and welcome to our new wild video. Ever since the incidents of feral kids emerged in human society, the scientists and medical teams have been trying to explain the actual reasons. We have listened to many folklores, myths and stories about the relationship between wild animals and human beings, even we have movies too. Also, our history has filled up with real incidents. Today we have many stories like the ostrich boy and wolf girl in our pics in this video about 10 kids who were raised by wild animals. So make sure to stick to the end for unbelievable facts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be part of the Inside 10's wild gang. Let's begin. Number 10. Oksana Malaya an 8-year-old Ukrainian girl lived with black Russian terriers. Oksana was neglected by her parents and found in a kennel with dogs in 1991. She barked and walked on all fours. She lacked human communication and even did not know any words. Later on, she learned to speak fluently. Number 9. The Leopard Child This story is about a stolen boy. He was founded from North Kachar Hills. Assam in 1912. He had been living with leopards. The boy ran on all fours, his knees were torn and covered with horn-like skin. He was much clever and quick, also he had a strange habit of eating. Number 8. Ivan Mishikov A Russian boy, Ivan Mishikov, lived with wild dogs for two years. At the age of four, he left his home and gained the trust of dogs that even he became the pack leader. At the age of six, he was caught up by Moscow police in 1998. Today, he is an active member of society and appeared on television to remember the time with his pack. I would say that his story is a perfect example of the bond between man and dog. Number 7. John Sibanya Here's the story of a Ugandan monkey boy, John Sibanya, who fled to the jungle after witnessing the murder of his mother by his father. At the time, he was just 2 or 3 years old. He had wildlife for the next 8 to 10 years. In 1989, after his rescue, the initial report said that John's body had covered with scars and wounds. His knee had marked due to crawling. John was living with a group of Cercopithecus Aethiopes for several months. So by therapies and training, he became a normal guy. However, we can't say that the Tarzan myth is true. Number 6. Bello This is another unbelievable story of a Nigerian chimp boy, Bello, who was raised by chimpanzees. He was rejected by his parents at the age of 6 months. He was mentally and physically disabled. Bello walked like a chimpanzee, dragging his arms on the ground. After his rescue in 1996, he went to the home for displaced children, where he still behaved like animals, throwing things on children. However, he never learned to speak. Bello died in 2005. Number 5. Hadara an ostrich boy, Hadara, was separated from his parents at the age of two. He had been living with a group of ostriches in Sahara Desert for 10 years. When he was rescued, he was 10 years old. Later, he got married and had children. In 2000, Hadara's son, Amadou, narrated a story of his father, which was passed on to Swedish author. Monica Zak, who wrote a book which is a mixture of Amadou's story and Monica's fantasy. Did you know ostriches can reach speeds up to 70 kilometers per hour? So here's the turning point, is how a human being can adapt to the fastest creature. Let us know your theory in the comments and spend one second to click the subscribe button. Let's move on to our top 4. Number 4. Goongi in 1914, a 14-year-old girl was caught in the jungle in Uttar Pradesh. She was raised by bears. Her hands and legs were covered with a thick layer of hair. She refused to eat cooked food. That shows that she had been living with bears. She had deep scratches on her body. It's wild. Number 3. Peter the Wild Boy a feral child Peter found in 1725 who had been living wild, naked, and alone in a German forest. He was brought to London by George I, where he became a human pet. He had an uncultured behavior, walked on all fours, and even can speak. He didn't like to wear clothes. He died on the 22nd of February 1785 and buried in North Church. 
From the modern assessment in 2011, the condition that bothered Peter was closely related to Pitt-Hopkins syndrome, a chromosomal disorder only identified in 1978. Number 2. Victor of Aveyron A French feral child, Victor was raised by wolves. He lived in the woods of Aveyron in the late 1790s. Victor intentionally emerged from the woods in 1800. He was just 12 years old, could not speak any language and used to be naked. The scars on his body showed that he had been in the wild. Later on, a medical student, Jean-Marc Gaspard Etard, took him to his home and taught him how to speak. As the study on feral kids never stopped, so Professor Yuta Frey has commented that she believes Victor displayed signs of autism. Number 1. Amala and Kamala The two Indian sisters, Amala and Kamala, were known as feral girls. They had been raised by a wolf family. In 1926, the rector of the local orphanage, Joseph Amrito Lal Singh, observed the girls and claimed that they have wolf-like habits, like they used to be naked, rejected cooked food, and walked on all fours. Surprisingly, they howled like wolves at night. Amala died in 1921 due to kidney infection. After this, due to years of hard work, Kamala was able to walk upright a bit. She died because of tuberculosis in 1929. Our picks will define the immense love between humans and animals, but of course, humans are born to live intellectually for their betterment. What do you say about this? If you know more about feral kids, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear interesting facts. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon, and be part of our amazing Inside Tens gang. Oh, before we forget, check out our latest videos appearing now on your screen on the left and right side. See ya!